it's Jessalyn. Welcome back to my channel. As you read from the title, I will be sharing with you a Daiso back to school stationery supplies haul. And this was totally spontaneous. I did not plan this as you guys know, because if I did, then I would have mentioned it. But the reason why I'm doing this video is because as you guys saw from my last video, I went to San Jose and we visited the Daiso store that was in the area. And Daiso, that store, it had so many cute stationary items that I thought would be perfect for back to school. So obviously I had to buy almost everything <laughs> um, and it's in this little bag right here. But before I get into what I got, I just want to mention that Daiso is super affordable. So if you're looking for really cute kawaii back to school stationary supplies, then definitely check out their online store or their in-person store if you have one around you. I sadly do not have a Daiso in my town, but if you do, then that's perfect. Go over there right now and get as many school supplies as you can. Again, before we get into that, I want to show you guys some clips of the display that they had and everything else that I didn't buy that was at the store. So, roll the clip. Look at these tiny word cards. Look, there's like these two big ones and then the rest are all miniature. Guys, look at this. A Sanrio pen and this is well, this is a pen. And there's also like these zip bags. They're so cute. Okay, so I'm gonna do a voiceover for the rest of the clips because there was a lot of music playing in the background and I did not want to get copyrighted. Anyways, here are some knitting and stitching, I believe, stuff. Um, super cool. There's also a lot of washi tapes, as you can see here. Different colors and patterns. Here are some of the page flags and sticky notes. I found these really cute memo pads, which I unfortunately did not get, but I should have. Okay, so this section is the Velokuma section. As you can see, almost everything is gone because everyone bought everything. And this is a Hello Kitty cooking section, more pens, and the pens area is so cute because there's like different characters and different pastel colors. Here are some erasers and extra pens in case you don't want the colorful and kawaii ones. I found more page flags. So this one here is an animal theme, and then the one that I'm about to show you is a galaxy theme kind of. It has planets, stars, etc. So pretty cool cool. There's also some solid color sticky notes and I found these really cute pink pastel ones and of course this memo pad right here. Then I found an assortment of cute stickers. Look at all of these adorable cat stickers. And I found these Velokuma decals. Also some pencil cases as you can see here. They're pretty slim and they come in different colors. Here are some of the notebooks. There's binded and spiraled notebooks. Very cool. This here reminds me of my Panda Planner. It has sticky notes that are in the shape of a monthly calendar and of course like lined paper so that you can write down notes and stuff. Look at these adorable binder clips. Oh my gosh, I love the pastel colors and the animals on them. Look, I found some origami paper. So this one's a Panda print and as you can see, there's many other designs that you can choose from like this unicorn one. They also had some bags that you can use as an emergency kit or a freshening up kit, whatever you choose. And there was a bunch of different designs like this one right here that's clear, it says private items. There's also some panda ones and pretty like colorful glittery ones. And a lot of these were actually see-through or like translucent, whatever you wanna call it. Like this one, it's like a mesh see-through bag, pretty cool more stickers but these were solid colors so you could use these for planning or just decorating wasn't that so cute oh my gosh i had so many stationary items that were like willakuma themed just like kawaii animals and of course sanrio so if you're wondering why i didn't show that much footage in the store from my last video it's because i was saving it for this video <laughs> okay now that you guys have seen what the display looked like and everything else that was there and i wanted to include i'm going to show you what i got this bag is fairly heavy so there's a lot of stuff in here first up i'm going to show you the thing that my sister picked out. So here we have a Rilakkuma notebook. Look at how cute this is. I love it. Um, it's a binded notebook, so it isn't the spiral ones. My sister prefers the binded notebooks for some reason. Um, I don't personally like binded notebooks, but she does. And she got this really cute one for the new school year. She's gonna be in fifth grade, so obviously she doesn't need like a big notebook. And this one's perfect for her because she has like a lot of Rilakkuma themed stationery from last year. Um, so she can like match this year. And it's so cute. It says Rilakkuma being lazy and having a time to chill out and relax. And it has like these two bears from the series, I believe. And then some more like cute animal characters. And for all the pages, 
what it looks like. So it has one of the characters on the front and then these are the lines. I believe this looks like it's kind of like college ruled. Yeah, it's definitely college ruled. And it says Rulakuma at the top. It's kind of hard to see since it's gray, but there's a lot of pages and I'm pretty sure this will last her the whole school year. So next up, she also got a pencil case. She removed the tag. <laughs> so all that's left is the plastic part of it. I forgot to remove it before I started filming this video, but it's just gonna be here. Um, it's really cute. It's like this blue slim pencil case. I'm not too sure if this is going to be her main pencil case or if she's gonna be using this as like an emergency pencil case. Like as you guys saw from my Amazon school supplies haul, I had like this Japanese stationery set and that's going to be like my emergency pencil case in case I forget my main one if that makes sense um, but it's really cute it fits a bunch of different pencils it could fit a bunch of different pencils the inside is like this yellow polka dot pattern and then the outside it has all these characters wearing like this really cute hat I'm not too sure what the animal is supposed to be it is like a sea theme because there's seashells and then the little bird is like a octopus um, not an octopus what is it a jellyfish <laughs> but it's really cute and I love the pastel color all right so first up we got some sticky notes so these are really kuma sticky notes I got the one that has a pink hoodie on or a hat I don't, I don't know what to call it but it's just really cute and then the bottom as you can see here they're like swimming it kind of looks like a beach or they're just laying down and it's just like a blue background but um, I can't wait to use this I have so many cute sticky notes I don't know if I'm going to use all of them this year, I can save some for next year, but I'm definitely going to use this one for sure. I got some more sticky notes, but these are page flags. So these are like a starry theme, and of course we have the Rilakkuma characters. Literally almost everything in this haul is just Rilakkuma themed because they have so many cute Rilakkuma school supplies, and they're in different pastel colors, so this one's in pink, purple, another pink one, and then two dark purples. So pretty cool. I have way too many page flags as well, so I might be saving some. And as you can see here, this was $2. This here was also $2. Um, I don't remember the price for the rest of these items, but the thing that they have at Daiso is if it doesn't have like a price tag on it or like a price sticker on the tag, then it's automatically $1.50. So that's why most of this stuff was super affordable because most of them didn't have price tags. So all of them were just like $1.50. All right, moving along. This is like not in order by the way. But I also got these really cute panda origami paper, I think. Yeah, it's pretty much origami paper. I got it because it has pandas. It's super cute. I guess you can use this as scrapbooking paper as well. Uh, my mom, she used to collect a lot of scrapbook papers, so it kind of reminds me of that, except it isn't like a little booklet, but I'm definitely going to use this as origami paper. I actually had a panda themed origami paper set and I used all of it up back in seventh grade and I would make like origami hearts and swans and different animals for my friends during class, <laughs> which you probably shouldn't be doing. You should pay attention to class. You shouldn't be like me and just slack off and make origami animals, but it's really cute. They're double-sided. Panda one is, as you can see, like a yellow background, pink and purple one kind of alternate. Um, there's pandas, dogs, rabbits, and cats. So can't wait to start using this. Maybe I'll use a couple of these sheets for like like bullet journaling or planning since um, I'm definitely going to be planning a lot for the new school year. My schedule is going to be filled. So it'd be nice to have like some cute paper for that. Again, this is like totally out of order because I'm just grabbing whatever I touch first in the bag. So we have this right here. More sticky notes. How how convenient. <laughs> right when I right when I stopped showing the sticky notes, more sticky notes appear. I forgot I got this actually. It's the same sticky note design as the first one that I just showed you, except different colors. So this is one of the brown Rilakkumas, and then the bottom sticky notes right here are pink instead of blue. Um, but it's pretty much the same characters, you know, same design. I might give this one to my sister since I already have one. And again, those two sticky notes were two dollars. All right, so I found bookmark. Not just, you know, your ordinary bookmarks. Really, really cute animal bookmarks. And these are not magnetic. They are actually kind of like paper clips and you just slide them onto the top of your page and boom, it's a bookmark. And it comes with a variety of them. There's 16 of these. So there's a Shiba, a panda, a rabbit, and a cat. It's just so cute. As you guys know, I love pandas. So I obviously had to get this, but I also got it because of the pink 
rabbit. The rabbit reminds me of my cookie plushie in the back right here. Isn't that so cute? So this is what it looks like. And all of them just have adorable faces. I can't wait to use this, especially since in English they assign us one book for each month. So maybe these will make reading a little bit easier since, you know, they're assigning us a bunch of books to read for the whole school year. <laughs> Next up, we got this. You're probably thinking, Jessalyn, what is this? This is a water bottle cap and not just any ordinary water bottle cap. It's one of those like like water bottle caps that turns your bottle into one of those squeezy bottles. Do you guys get me? Um, have you seen this? One of those Fiji bottles with like the cap that has like the, the, the thing that you can like drink out of? I don't know. It just makes drinking water fun. <laughs> I don't know what the cap is called. It'll be on the screen right here. But I got that and it's an attachment that you can put onto your water bottle. So it just makes it easier to drink your water and kind of like waterfall it too if you're sharing a water bottle with someone. You know, it's. I thought it would be really, really cute. And when I use this for the new school year, let's say there's like a bunch of water bottles, a group of water bottles, I can distinguish which one is mine because it would have this attachment onto it. Uh, let me just open it up so I can show you guys what it looks like. I just got it because it was really cute and I thought it'd be fun to use. Again, this is what it looks like. It has a big opening so you can just like waterfall it or you can actually drink from it. Um, and you can reuse this, so wash it and then dry it and you can use it for your next water bottle. This is where you would attach the water bottle. I'm gonna try this out after this video and I'll let you guys know if I liked using it or if it was like pretty convenient. I'm gonna put this back in the packaging because I still have to record close-ups for this video. So just gonna pretend that I never opened it. <laughs> okay, I'm reading the packaging. It's called a wide flip bottle cap. <laughs> Back to the stationery. So, I also got two sheets of stickers. And you're probably thinking, what would I use these stickers for, for back to school? Planning, duh, ow. I just cut my lip. <gasps> We're all good, I didn't cut my lip. It just it just hit my lip and I, I thought I'd cut it because it was like sharp. Anyways, so I got these stickers for planning. And I feel like planning is a really important part, um, especially during the school year because it just helps you with time management so that you know when to do your schoolwork, when to focus on your extracurriculars and all that stuff. And it's just really helpful to stay on track and be productive and you know have time to do fun things as well. So I got these cute stickers to help me focus on that, I guess. <laughs> and I guess I can use these for my notes as well because I like to make my notes pretty. I'm that girl so who knows it's really cute this one's like a bread theme it's a cat by the way so this isn't really cool in case you were thinking that I don't know and then this one here it's like a another bread theme but it's like more pastries so I believe these are steam buns like color different colored steam buns or mochi they had so many different options and my cousin Hannah actually got I think all of them so pretty cool I also got some pens which I'm getting right now so I got these two colored pens both of these are Willakuma theme a pink and a blue pen but both of them have regular black ink and I believe this is a 0.5 pen I want to say it's a 0.5 pen it doesn't say on the label let me just take one of them out so I can double check because I wasn't sure if if it was a 0.5. I was wrong. It's not a 0.5. I believe it's a 0.7, but you know, I write with both different pen measurements, pen tip measurements. So again, I got a blue one. This one is like a space theme and it's really cute. It's like one of those retractable button um, pens and it has like a little gel grip at the bottom here so it makes it easier to write. It's just so cute. And I also got a pink one so it can kind of like coordinate. Um, and this is like a cat theme, a cat and mouse theme. See. It's pink. And again, it has like one of those gel pen grips. And this one is also 0.7. All right, I also got some washi tapes, which I am bringing out. And I got two of these, pink and blue as well. So it could kind of go with like my pens and stuff. Um, it's super cute. This pink one is a cat theme. And this one here is a sea theme. Had a lot. And my cousin Hannah also got a lot of the different designs. So it's just so adorable. I also got chopsticks. Totally random, um, but I wanted to show you guys these because they're Hello Kitty themed. It says Hello Kitty, very delicious, and a bunch of other words on it. And I finally have like a pair of chopsticks of my own because my family, they all have like their own separate chopsticks that they use, or they'll just use like one of those wooden ones that we have in the drawers, but they all have their like assigned chopsticks and I don't. So I got this Hello Kitty one and it comes in a case so I can even like bring this to school or something and eat 
using this. <laughs> I'm gonna open it up so I can show you guys what the whole thing looks like. So it looks like this comes in its case and it's attached to the case too so it won't fall out unless you slide it out which I am trying to figure out how to do. You slide it out like this, slide the whole thing out and bam, got your chopsticks and you can eat away. So I'm gonna put this back and gonna move on to the next thing that I wanna show you. Okay, so I also got this My Melody pen holder. This is something that you use to like hold your pencil and I really like it just because it makes the whole pencil cute. So if your teacher hands you one of those like ugly yellow pens, you could just slip this cover onto it. <laughs> At first, when I got it, I thought it already had a pencil in it, but my sister got the same thing and we both realized that it is a attachment, um, but it's still really cute. You just twist it off like this and I believe you either put the pencil in this part or this part and then you just put it all together, I guess. Okay, you could also use this if your pen is like on the brink of dying and it's like this short. You could just attach it to here and it just creates like this body for it um, and if you do put like a full length pencil into it, I don't know why I said pen earlier, then this is where the eraser would be and you can just remove the cat like that from the bottom. Okay, so next up we have some paper clips. So these are actually binder clips. I always call them paper clips, but no, these are binder clips. Anyway, <laughs> I got these because they're so cute. Usually the binder clips that I get are like so boring and you know generic. Like last year I had all gold ones, which is obviously better than like the solid color white and red ones, um, but they didn't have any cute characters on it until I found these at Daiso. So they have like cute little bears and rabbits on it. It's just so cute. And on the other side, it says hello. So that's, that's just adorable. And I feel like this will make doing schoolwork so much better. Like all these cute school supplies because as I mentioned a thousand times, I don't know about you guys, but cute stationery um, helps me stay like focused and productive. So that's why I always get like really cute stuff. I also got this. This is a Rilakkuma memo pad. And let me just open it up so I can show you guys. It's pandas panda themed like the Rilakkuma characters are wearing panda suits and it's so cute they all look so cute and there's like a lazy panda too which totally represents pandas in general because like pandas are really lazy but friendly creatures um, so as you can see when you open it up here are all the pages and these pages are removable so in case you need to use it as like a note to put on your paper then all you have to do is just take it out and then you know rip off a page which I'm not going to demonstrate because I don't want to ruin this yet until school starts it's just so cute. I can't believe I found this and I had no idea there was like panda Rilakkuma themed stuff. All right, and the last item in this bag is this. This is a My Melody case that you can use to store your cotton swabs, your pieces of gum in case you want to like bring individually wrapped pieces of gum, and it just fits anything that's like long and slim. So I thought this would be perfect to buy because when I do my What's in My Backpack video, I'm obviously going to need to put together an emergency kit or just like any kit that I need to freshen up at school. So I thought I would include this because it's just like the perfect case to put in your cotton swabs or just anything in general so be sure to stay tuned to know what I decide to use this amazing case for it's so cute and my melody is definitely one of my favorite Sanrio characters next to Kuropi so I just this is so cute I didn't see any other character themed cases so I think this was the only one but fine by me because again my melody is like my favorite character of all time. All right, that is pretty much it for this Daiso back to school stationery haul. If you enjoyed, give it a big thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. I know this kind of seems like a sponsor video, but it wasn't. I just decided to show you guys all these cute stationery that I found at Daiso. So be sure to check out Daiso if you live near one because I have so many cute stationery for super affordable prices. Don't forget to follow me on my Instagram and TikTok, by the way. Both social medias have the same username which is at underscore Jessalyn Grace underscore. Okay, I know I say this in all my videos, but again, stay tuned for more back to school themed videos because back to school season is right around the corner. For me, it's in less than three weeks, which is insane. <laughs> um, but I'm really excited to start filming more for you guys. And I know I've been putting off the back to school vlog, but 
stay tuned for that. I'm probably going to post that up next, and then after that video, my pencil case review, and then after that video, my what's in my backpack, or my pencil case tour, um, and whatever else comes to mind, video ideas wise, and yeah, I will see you all next week on Tuesday. Bye!